morning guys we've had a morning of working getting as much done as possible we had a bit of a struggle with slow internet and we couldn't really get our GPS to work but we're heading to Luca and I can't wait to check it out it's a really old city they have city walls that, that just a few years ago you could actually drive on top of them so they're apparently really wide we are recovering from the drive and now we're almost there See you in there. Just when we thought our struggles were over, we actually kind of stuck at a toll booth. Ooh, now it's going up. Morten had to get out of the car. I don't know if, if it ate his visa card, but we'll see. It keeps speaking to him in Italian, but he can't change the language, so. Did you get your card? Well, it's open Hello. now. Do you speak English? More than I, I was trying to uh, insert my card. Did I pay already? Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> that was an experience, huh? <laughs> it didn't say anything in English, but there was a button I could play. And then some dude told me that I already paid, so... I guess that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Luca! We made it! Finally! That is one big keyhole. It's like half the size of my hand. Let's go explore! He really likes kebab. <laughs> Are you ready to meet the keeper of the man? I am the keeper of the man. At least for today. Ten? To be okay, ten. Because he's, he's only no he's, um, four years old. I'm shopping for my nephew again. This one is eight. Ah, Vespa. Very Italian. It's not a Vespa, it's a Lambretta. That's nice. <laughs> Chocolate or caramel? It's always a question. Whoop. It's stuffed with something. I was not expecting it to be filled, so I'm glad that I got kind of a heads up. <laughs> so this is probably not going to spill all over. It's stuffed with chocolate. It's good. It's very much just cake. <laughs> I've seen a lot of churches, but this church is kind of funny actually because all of the columns up there, they're all different. That's a very nice touch. Good way to personalize a church a little because they all look a little bit the same. It seems like every other store is closed, so I don't know if they have some kind of siesta where they take turns. Maybe, <laughs> but it's... It's a little weird. I really like those concrete shoes and the camera. And I would probably have bought it if it wasn't because we are really trying not to spend money this time because we want to save up money instead. So. If we ever want to buy any place to live for us, our own, 
then we have to not spend that money. But it is so cool. But we have it on camera, so we'll keep the memory of it that way. We are on the hunt for Tor Quinichi or something like that. It's basically a really high tower that some family that used to, I think, rule the city, uh, they built and they planted trees on top and they're still there and now they've grown quite big so we're gonna go up there and enjoy the view and have fun looking at the trees on top of a tower we are ready to climb a lot of stairs and i don't think we've been this high up with max you're going into your first tower let's go i think they said it was 230 meters high so we're gonna have to climb a lot of stairs. We are starting to get above the roof levels. <sighs> Guys, this is a little scary. I grew up climbing trees, so I'm not naturally scared of heights, but Past 10 years, it's gotten worse. <laughs> and this is kind of scary because these stairs are kind of mounted into the wall from the outside so you can see straight down. It's not solid steps, so it's a little scary. It's a rooftop garden. It's nice. You can kind of see the city wall around here because you can see the line that goes all the way around with all the trees growing on it. That's a pretty cool way to keep a city green, I think. This is really magical. These trees are smaller than I expected, but I guess they have to be small for the roof to support them, so it makes sense, but it's enough to make it really magical. I really like it. I'm a fan. Time to do some more exploring of Luca. Casually walking down the street and there's a church, <laughs> big church. We found an old church where they have reproduced some of the old machines from Leonardo da Vinci. All sorts of different designs, so let's check it out. I'm in a room with a lot of Marias. Oh my goodness, I don't know what this is for. Is that to be able to see yourself from every angle? There's a lot of machines that I didn't even know that Leonardo da Vinci actually helped move progress on because this one is using a round motion to become a linear motion. You crank this one and it's round and then it attaches to this which pushes in and out and that makes it in and out linear motion. It's kind of funny and seeing ex an exhibition like this in an old church hall is just kind of beautiful. Look at this. I love it that it's so rusty. The ceiling is not on anymore and I really like it. It's so, it's like nude. It's like a nude church in here. And Max is napping in his stroller, so that is perfect timing. This one is heavy. And this system, it's a little lighter. Even lighter. 
double twist thing. Now it's really easy. I find it really fascinating how a guy can be a painter, like an artist, and do all these machines. It's a creative mind. Okay, enough of this. Let's go find that city wall. Well, we were heading towards the wall, but then it started raining and Max was sleeping, so we just thought, let's escape and have a bit bite to eat. So we're having some pasta with truffles and some cafe latte and just enjoying it in this piazza. It's really nice. I don't normally drink coffee, but after I had Max, I'm a big fan because I'm so tired. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, now for real, let's find that wall. <laughs> I just saw a woman come out of this door and it looks so funny because it's a huge door. Look how big that is. It's like five meters high. Oh man, it's locked now, but it looks so cool. Look at that door, it's only to here and it stops there. So you kind of have to step over it to get out. It looks like a little hobbit door in a big human door. <laughs> Okay, you guys, you just get our few thoughts on Luca. We've been here for a day or a short day and I really love the tower. I loved getting up there and I thought it was so fun how they planted those trees up there a long time ago and they're still there. And yeah, you? Yeah, I like it too. Lots of small, tiny streets. Kind of mm -hmm. reminded me of a niche and also reminded me of the little town we stayed in on Crete. Is it called Crete? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm? Khania? Is that the one? Khania, yeah. Yeah. Tiny yeah, little streets with there, rocks. There are kind of a lot of shops here, so there is a lot to do and to look at and to check out. Uh, we were just here during the siesta, so a lot of things were kind of closed down. But it's a beautiful city, and don't hesitate to check it out if you're in the area. The wall as it is today is about 550 years old and it's a total of four kilometers all the way around. So it's a good hike and it kind of reminds me of the Ringstrasse in, in Vienna. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link up here, here somewhere. I think it's time to head home because it's starting to rain again. So I'm betting that we'll see you guys next time and maybe in a Vespa museum. See you guys next time. Bye.